we're going to go get a text, put it in. Okay, we're going to convert this, change this text here. Um, click here, go to um, different font. Okay, and then uh, we're going to draw a box that's going to connect this shape. Remember that it has to touch the shape, otherwise it will it will not be joined. So um, right now this is, if you look down here, it says it's a text object. So that doesn't help us, we can't export that. And we also can't um, move any nodes. So if I go to the node tool, there's no option, I can't get in there. So what I'm going to have to do is go path, object to path. Okay, now it's a group of four objects. I go to objects, ungroup, and now I've got a path for the H, a path for each letter. Okay, and when I go to the node tool, you can see there's all these little nodes that I can then edit if I want. Okay, so um, if I need to edit those, for example, here, the H is not connected, so let me pull these nodes down. Um, I can just use the arrow keys, um, or I can drag them. Uh, the ones that are selected are going to move. The other ones are going to stay where they are. Okay, so those are now overlapping. That's overlapping. This one needs a little bit of help. Okay, so it doesn't matter how far it's overlapping, as long as it's touching uh, on the top and the bottom. And that would be um, two. Uh, okay, so this is one object. If I go to the node tool, it's, it's an object. Okay, can't get in there and edit nodes. Um, it's a re rectangle, and I want to convert this rectangle to a path. Okay, to so take the object and make it a path. So this object is now path, as you can see, because I can move these individual nodes. Okay, so I think if we wanted to do a speech bubble type thing, um, what does a speech bubble look like? We could just move that more there. Okay. Um, but now, because it is a stroke, I can change the thickness. And I can do that by clicking the object properties, fill and stroke. And I can change the thickness. Um, so, depending on what look you're going for, um, you can edit that. Um, again, now it's not touching here, so I need to. Um, make this slightly smaller it looks nice that it's not um, perfect okay and these ones over a bit this way. Okay. So now I want to convert this stroke, which is um, one path. That's what the red line is. I want to go here and say stroke to path. And now suddenly that whole thing becomes an object, a path. Okay. A path that I can now make it individually. You know, change it, make it slightly less uh, perfect, which suits this font. Um, something like that. Okay, and then I now need to join these together. So you can see these are all separate. So what I can do is select them all, and I can go to Path and say Union. I'm just going to join them together. Okay, and if, for example, I wanted to, uh, let's say, cut a hole in this for a key ring. Um, uh, I first need to draw a little shape here. And this shape, I'm going to change the full here at the bottom. So now it's full. And remember, this is a, a path because it says here path. So I'm going to select that and that, and I'm going to join them. 
same way, union. Okay, but now I want to take out a little hole for the key ring. So I need to make this white. And then I need to move it. And then I need to convert it into an object. Otherwise it won't work. So let me show you what happens if you've got a, an ellipse, as you can see down here, which is a, a shape with my path. So I've got two objects, one's a path, one's an ellipse. I'm going to try and do something with them. Um, and it actually looks like it's going to work. Um, so what we want to do is we want to check the uh, one of these difference. And there is the shape. Now you can see that, that it changed size and that's because of the stroke thickness. So if I go into the object properties, I must rather make this um, very, basically take, get rid of the stroke and just look at the paint at the full size. Okay, so then you might want to make that slightly bigger and join those together. difference between them and now this is one one shape okay so these nodes are part of this object and um, you can also delete individual nodes to kind of clean up your shape a little bit um, so depending on what you want to do that obviously takes a long time to edit node by node but you might want to just for example over here, you you, you want to say delete these two nodes, whoops, or you want to um, move this node over here and delete this one and make this smaller, something like that. Okay, and that's then you go. It's all done. You can click here. It's a path of two hundred nodes. Are we happy with that. There's another function called simplify. If you've got a lot of nodes, you can go to path simplify and it will take some of the nodes out. So now it's gone down to 89 nodes. And with this type of font, it actually looks fine. Um, but still, I think it'll go with the original. So I'll control Z to undo. And then I file save as a DXF and it's ready for laser cutting. Okay.